very concerned with the current field right yes. now. How many panic calls? I can tell you, I get a lot of panic calls this week. A panic call, Joe, what do we do? What are we going to, this is, we're in desperate straits. What's going to happen? Are we going to win? Excellent. I know everybody's freaking out about this, but you saw the MAGA rally that's preparing around here. The only thing, the only thing between the United States and the abyss is the Democratic Party. If we nominate Jeremy Colbin, it's going to be the end of days. <laughs> When Trump entered the political field, I think that he changed it forever. Just think about it. Who out there has anywhere near the same energy or can fill a stadium with thousands of people and have an overflow of thousands of more people outside the stadium? Who else can land a counterattack like Trump? Who else out there fights back against the corrupt partisan media like Trump does? All the other candidates look like walking corpses compared to him. The truth is, they're all weak and atrophy due to having no scrutiny from the media. It's not just you and I that can see this reality. The media is starting to see it and they're cracking under the pressure. Trump is going to be tough to beat. So I'm a bit frustrated and I'm not the answer to all questions, Brian. Brian and Rachel, I'm just not tonight. I'm a little frustrated. The rest of this year is going to be really entertaining. Why wouldn't they be freaking out? Trump is filling stadiums while the Democrat candidates are struggling to fill high school gyms. The people that do attend are getting attacked by senile old perverts with old timey insults about pony soldiers. I almost can't believe it myself, but the leading Democrat candidate is a self-labeled socialist and is most likely a legit communist with a long history of promotion promoting communist dictatorships. When you're done here, go check out my video from yesterday to hear more on that topic. Then there's Trump's approval numbers, with Gallup putting him at about 49% approval, but who really knows how accurate that is? Honestly, it's amazing to me that after four years of nonstop attacks from all sides, that he still retains that high of an approval. That's gotta be really good news for him. Because there does seem to be a progressive lane and you'd put Sanders and Warren in that lane and then the rest of them you'd call them moderates or centrists or whatever they wanna call themselves. He's, you know, if so we- So let, let me jump no, in here. Yeah. I, so uh, let me jump in here. I understand that. And I and I and I have been saying that, I don't know, for years now <laughs> since we've had this whole. Well, actually, since 2018, since we've had this whole thing about, um, you know, the Democrats are moving to the left right. and it's socialist. And so I've been giving people the facts about the Democratic Party that it's actually a centrist party, right? Wrong. The party of centrists, you say, Don Lamont. I cannot tell if these people are really this deluded or if they're just reading from a script. First, none of the Democrat candidates is a centrist or moderate. They're all varying levels of socialists. They're just deceptive while Sanders is being open about it. They all want to demonize and tax the rich. They all want equal outcomes instead of equal opportunity. They all want to be part of the communist climate change doomsday cult. They all want more dependency on government. They all recite the Marxist language of the far left. They all promote the racist mantra of white privilege. They all want government-run health care. Just go look at all the issues for the remaining Democrat candidates. They're not far off from Sanders. Even Sanders hedges when he calls himself a democratic socialist, which is really just the way of making it more palatable. We have a voter out here. Hi. Sir, you're gonna, you were watching, so you're going to be on television now. Can you tell us who you voted for? <laughs> Donald John Trump. You voted for Donald John Trump. Yeah. Look at that. He Bernie Sanders is not appealing to you? The whole ideology, ideology would be destructive to the country. I don't think that went how she hoped. Most modern Democrats are socialists, and many seem to be going full communist if the universities are any measure. You can't get more mainstream than Barack Obama's movie producer winning an Oscar and then giving a shout out to the Communist Manifesto. There are very few moderates left in the Democrat party, and just look at who's trying to sell this deception. It's all far left activists who are pretending to be journalists. I mean, these people are among the most untrustworthy people on TV. And to that point, notice how this NBC journalist inexplicably labels anybody except Warren and Sanders a moderate or a centrist. Then says, quote, or whatever they want to label themselves. Whoops, she gave away the game and then tried to correct herself. Last thing, now's not the time to just sit back and hope that other people get Trump elected. Make sure that you're registered so that you can vote in November. Attend a rally or just post some Trump memes. Do something. 
and make sure to like, share, and subscribe to support my channel so that I can continue the fight. You can also subscribe to me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or just send a donation on PayPal. For just $1 a month, you'll get early access to all my videos and exclusive content. However you decide to support this channel, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.